This is the general principle of your primary cell. You are able to see a plastic cover on top with a positive terminal shear. And you got an insulator in the back and the bottom. A cell can and this is your welder, welded seam and a glass to metal seal. Here, sure, this is the one. Apart from that, you got your top insulator, a separator, and an anode here, and this is your cathode. So, the cells from which the electric energy is derived by irreversible chemical reactions are called primary cells. The primary cell is capable of giving an EMF, a current, when it constants with the two electrodes and the electrolytes, which is assembled together. The two main primary cells are the first one is your Daniel cell, the other one is your electronic cell. These cells cannot be recharged electrically. You are able to see a typical picture of your Daniel cell and here you got your electronic cell. For the moving about the Daniel cell, it is a primary cell which cannot supply steady current for a long time. It got a zinc with a zinc sulphate. And you got a porous pot with a copper and copper sulphate in it. And you got your minus and plus poles here. So the zinc rod reacting with the dilute sulfuric acid produces zinc plus plus. And two electron zinc pluses pass through the pores of the porous pot and reacts with the copper sulphate here producing copper plus plus ions. The copper plus plus ion deposit on the copper vessel. When Daniel cell is connected in a circuit, the two electrons of the zinc pass through the electron sectional circuit and reach the copper vessel thus neutralizing the copper ions. You are able to see the weak zinc sulfate solution and this is a zinc rod and saturated copper sulfate solution with the copper rod or copper plate in it. This constitutes an electric current from copper to zinc. Daniel cell produces an EMF of approximately 1.08 volt. You are able to see the copper here and zinc 2 plus plus ion here and you got your sulfate ion and you got electrons which is emerged. We will talk about the electronic cell which is another kind of a primary cell, it got a carbon rod and you got ammonium chloride. It's powdered carbon and magnesium oxide and it's placed in a glass jaw with a zinc rod in it. A electronic cell consists of a carbon electrode packed in a porous pot containing magnesium dioxide and charcoal powder which is depicted here. You got some charcoal powder here. The porous part is Im immersed in a saturated solution of ammonium chloride. It's electrolyte. Contained in an outer glass vessel, the zinc rod is immersed in electrolytic solution. At the zinc rod, due to the oxidation reaction, zinc atom is converted into zinc plus plus ions and to electrons. Zinc plus plus ion which is reacting with ammonium chloride will be getting ammonia, zinc chloride and hydrogen and electron. The ammonia gas escapes. The hydrogen ion diffuses to the pores of the porous pot and react with manganese dioxide. In this process, the positive charge of hydrogen ion is a transfer to carbon at carbon rod. So when zinc rod and carbon rod are connected externally, the two electrons from the zinc rod moves towards the carbon and neutralizes the positive charge as electron flows from carbon. 
So from zinc to from uh, carbon to zinc, from here to here. So electronic cell is useful for supplying intermittent current. The EMF of the cell is about 1.5 volt and it can supply a current of 0.25 ampere.